So, is my call center operational or not? Some people are still asking that question. As I've said before, it's mothballed. I'm looking for the right people to work with, with the right product, etc. Um, some people have contacted me already and we're already discussing things. Um, but what I will say is it's there, it exists. Um, the first thing I will say is this picture here is room three on the Ubi building. Um, because we have more than one building, which is something people may not be aware of. This is actually one room. There's actually three rooms on the ground floor. The first one's actually rented out as an apartment. The second one is my office, and we're looking at changing that um, possibly to an apartment. But above that, there is a floor, which is the ones you see with the windows. If you've looked through the Cebu uh, stuff relating to the construction stuff, is an open plan of all three. So the answer to that is the building's there, the call center's there, the apartments and stuff are actually in the same building but it is not the same room um, but on top of that there is more to this than just simply the Ubi building over on our second building which is what we call the Zoetech building there is two apartments there which is our apartment at the top and then I've mentioned before the apartment that the kids normally use below which is a rental now we've actually converted that to a rental and I says apartment one on the Ubi building is out as a rental at the moment as well but Next to the apartment upstairs is another office. Now, if you've seen these pictures, um, this is actually the other part of the call center because we have more than one building. Um, this room alone will take 16 people. So, although it's mothballed, it is mothballed basically because I'm waiting for the right contract to run. Um, I'm not in a rush. See, the thing is, I'm stuck in Spain at the moment while we're doing a lot of the paperwork relating to immigration. So I'm not in a rush. But at the same time, the information I'm sharing is all real information. The other thing here is in Spain, I'm also looking at the opportunities here. We've got a building here in Spain. My friend Keith has an empty building. We're looking at using that as a call centre because we're in the middle of at least 100,000 expats a lot of them on limited budgets, so we've got the opportunity to actually bring in a lot of staff to do things for the UK market, US market, and even the Dutch, German, French, or whatever, because they're all here. There's a lot of people here from those different countries. So, although my call centre itself doesn't seem to be doing a lot, the answer is, it's because I haven't found the right contract that I'm happy to work with. Um, now... The other side of this being, you say, well, what if I give you a project for five agents? Ray from Papanga, Papanga's in the north on Luzon, he's already got 65 guys running on a contract for Australia doing um, virtual assistance for accountants. So Ray and Papanga's available. Carlos is running Australian Solar from Cebu. He's available and got agents ready to go. We've also got down in Davao, um, Andre. Andre is in Davao, another call center. So the, the, the fact is, because mine's not running, it doesn't mean there's no scope for work here. The fact is, all these call centers I've worked with and do work with on a regular basis. So I'm always in contact with these people, seeing how they're going, etc., and exchanging information and looking for contracts for them as well so don't assume just because my call center isn't running um that i'm not actually proactive uh it's simply a case of i'm not happy to run my call center when i'm not there but also i've got people that can are already operational in other call centers or own their own call centers so it's much easier for me to push a project towards them and actually turn around and say, look, this is what my clients want, this is the expectations, and I know you can deliver this because we've worked together in the past. So why would I want to open mine just for dribs and drab contracts? The answer is it's not worth my time. Um, but I am happy to network people up to get their contracts up and running. I'm also talking to several people in the US relating to contracts they have there because they're, they're looking at outsourcing as well. So... The answer is, yes, mine's sat 
mothballed, but at the same time, it's still proactive in a call center sense because we're still looking at projects. We're still getting projects operational for other people. We're still running projects through other call centers. And if the right contract comes along that's big enough to open my call center up, I will just simply go there, put the key in the door, and open the door. It's all there. Computers are there, desks are there. The servers are here in Spain, but I can knock a server up remotely in about 30, 45 minutes. So the fact is, it's operational. Hope this helps.